Hi there. This is Wei Hao at Direct Impact Solutions. With the pandemic ongoing, many of us feel less secured about our jobs. In this video, I will show you how to guarantee yourself a lifetime of employment by making your solution only maintainable by yourself. Stick till the end of the video to learn these tips that will change your life. The first thing to remember is that you can't overdo this. Your solution should still be functional and even appear to be somewhat maintainable. Otherwise, your solution might simply get refactored or rewritten. So how do you make your solution not looking hopelessly unmaintainable, but just be that way? You need to understand the perspective of other developers who might share your responsibilities with you. Anyone who dares to come close to your solution does not possess the same amount of system knowledge as you do, especially if it's a large solution. All they want to do is rapidly find a place to make their changes, make them, then get out, hopefully without causing unexpected side effects. They will view your solution through a toilet paper tube. They can only see a tiny piece of it at a time. You want to make sure they can never get at the big picture from doing that. You want to make it as hard as possible to find the code that they're looking for, but even more important, you want to make it as awkward as possible for them to safely ignore anything. You want to lure them with some sort of conventions, but every once in a while, subtly violating it. This will force them to read every line of code with a magnifying glass. Much of the skill in creating unmaintainable solutions is in the act of naming. So let's focus on that in this video. With FileMaker, there are many places where developers will name stuff. We have tables, fields, TOs, layouts, scripts, custom functions, layout objects, variables, and even more. This gives us abundant room to play. Starting with table names, only use table names with one or two letters. It would be even better if those letters can be interpreted in multiple ways that all make sense in your solution. For example, instead of using company, contact, contract, just go with CO, CN, and CR. Within tables, we have fields. Be sure to use some keywords that are okay for FileMaker, but are reserved by other technologies. Preferably SQL. Nobody should attempt to integrate anything with your solution. You want your solution to be an information island so you can control everything that goes in or out of your solution. Aside from using reserved words, randomly capitalize the first letter of a syllable in the middle of a word. It will look like a camel case, but confuse the hell out of people. Moving on to table occurrence names. Screw Anchor Buoy. If you want to connect all your TOs, nobody has the right to tell you not to. If you have multiple TOs based on the same table, just number them, like CO, CO2, CO3, etc. But don't be too consistent. Every now and then, create a variant like COM in there, just to add some excitement. Next, layout names. FileMaker allows you to use the same layout names multiple times. So why not name all your layouts for the same table the same? You don't need to care if they are created for list view, form view, or printing purpose. This will even create the illusion that there's some kind of hidden logic behind this naming convention. If your boss or client asks, just say, this is for indirection. Okay, jumping to the business logic features. For script and function names, be abstract. You should not judge a book by its cover, so Never let anyone tell what your script or function is supposed to do by simply reading its name. You spend a lot of time writing them, why not invite people to read them carefully to truly appreciate their beauty? 
use abstract words like data, handle, stuff, do, perform, procedure, process, function. Mix and match them to create generic sounding names like procedure 31, perform data function, handle stuff. As for variables, use global variables as much as you can. You only need to define them once and you can use them everywhere. The context created by global variables is not obvious at all, especially when you have applied other techniques mentioned above to force other developers to focus all their attention on reading your scripts or functions. Yes, combine them, make them a combo, hit them where they don't expect. When you need to use local or function variables, reuse names you have already used for globals. At the end of the day, they have their own scope. So why not leverage this marvelous feature and reduce the number of words we have to think of to name our variables? I heard recycling is eco-friendly, right? And uh, speaking of function variable, add some prefix to them, but be arbitrary. For example, use single underscore sometimes and double underscore some other times. On top of that, be creative with your variable names. If Michelangelo can hide his signature in Genesis, so can you. Use your baby's names, use your partner's names, use your pet's name. They're important to you. They support you. Think about all those long nights that you spend in front of your computer handling emergency requests. They're there cheering you up, keeping you accompanied. This is how you pay tribute to them. But don't just use one type of name. We don't want our code to read like a family history book. Every now and then, use a single letter to name your variable, but don't use them as loop counters. Use them elsewhere. And with all these names, every once in a while, misspell them. This would make it hard to do DDR analysis with your solution. I mean, who needs a DDR when they got you, right? So there you go, my friend. Take these tips and apply that to your job. I know it sounds like many things to pay attention to, and it certainly takes discipline to do so, but you can do it. I have faith in you. As a fellow FileMaker developer, I wish you a lifetime of employment and may your backlog never dry. Happy April Fool's Day. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. We publish FileMaker videos every week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.